y'all ebony and i'm back with another video another message another level of understanding another word from the most high god and before i do anything i want to usher the holy spirit into this dwelling place into y'all dwelling place into this ministry as we unfold and go a little higher with god you guys there are certain, I'm going straight in with it. You guys, there are certain things that happen catastrophically in our lives to allow us to remember who God is above all things that happen that may seem like a disaster to your um, fleshly will or your fleshly mindset. Harvesting these negative doubts and inconsistency of why have you been put in this position? Why are you experienced this situation? Why have you been going through things through a rock and a hard place? But God says, no more will you miss him in the moment. No more would you forget about him doing that thing for you through that opportunity that you see something that is not unfolding as a positive thing. God is trying to strengthen you listen he's trying to strengthen your ability to believe in him he's trying to strengthen your motivation sometimes you may be even a person who has lived their life on the outskirts of existence no more had you had to experience hardship or need help in a such a way because you learned from your situation and now you've encountered God and you know he's real and so you're walking with him but then something happened and you understand that that, that drops you down below and you're trying to figure out how come it's me that's here God why I don't understand like I'm rocking with you I'm with you and you understand this God is saying I'm in a mystery even that thing because sometimes what you go down for to retrieve and need I'm going to be the person that brings you up but while I bring you up I need somebody else to receive what I gave you you understand listen listen we are going through an experience that is perceived strictly new strictly new which means even though you're on the outskirts of unknowing what you're harvesting, unknowing the event that's taking place, unknowing why you're a catastrophic reason for being in such a divine timing as such the one that you're in, no matter what it is, good or bad, that God wants to use it for his justice, okay? God is no respecter of man. So although you may feel the emotions of the, 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 the destroyers of lack or pride getting the belittlement to surface about your situation, how about in that situation you call on God to find him in the midst the same way when you had the help that he was giving you and, and you ain't have no worries when you didn't need to call on him in the midst of this moment that you catastrophically appeared somewhere that you don't even understand how when you have the finances when you have the understanding when you are well equipped to do exactly what you need to do to take off and, and you land in a spot that makes you feel like this don't make sense find God in the midst of it because what God did God will do what God did for you God will do for the other person but he needs you to go in a place where you have to transition to find the person that's needing that help and then sometimes when you gotta help somebody you gotta know what it feels like to be helped or need help you gotta remember you gotta remember so 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 sometimes with the catastrophic thing that is happening in the atmosphere is shifting you to go back down so that you can encounter that moment when you once need help in order to bring other people who needed help up out of that thing this thing is about god's justice this thing that god is doing is new it's profound it's catastrophic it's uplifting it's catapult listed i'm gonna create a new word because the thing the, the arithmetic the thing is shifting god said he's changing it for his good for his good no longer is it about those things that you once consisted of keeping up with no more is it about religious does this person got all their ducks in a row in order for me to serve god does this person seem to appear before god as honest as true no more is it about that what it is is about the will of god do you trust him enough to do that thing for you even when he brings you down low i love you you guys i had to release this that somebody say sos Somebody say, yes, so West divine rescue is here. No matter where you are, no matter through that rock in a hard place, no matter where he brought you, no matter if you're shipwrecked, 
You got to understand that God knows it all. And now what he's doing, he said two for the price of none. Because what the same person that you needed, the same reason you needed God's help, he going to bring you low so you can give the person who's actually other, needed that same rescue. Because God is collecting it. He's, he got a ship on him. Listen, y'all got to understand. It's time to take flight. It's time to take flight to what God want to do in your life and not what you want to do. You got to pursue. Pursue God and not man. Pursue God. Let go of doubt and weariness and wayward thinking. Let it go. Because strategically, God has designed this thing to happen how it's happening. No more would you go down there and be distraught by what's happening. Sit in yourself focused on God. Find him. Find him. Because there's always more to it. It ain't always about you and, and, and that doubt that want to run your mind. It ain't always about that because somebody is designed to want a healing from God that they've been trying to get for a long time. And they've been surfing that th surfacing that thing on the outside. But there was something that dropped in their spirit before they went to sleep. A small, a small what if, a, a whole truth mustard seed and God told him that my word can never come back for it so with you in the center in the midst of it if you falling God is lifting you up lifting them up because you never really fail because God says the righteous may fall but get up seven times so it's guaranteed that you're going to get up so in the midst of your falling you got to make sure that you're doing what you came to do for God you got to understand not your own strength not your own strength but not your own strength but by God's strength by God's strength we are healed Do you understand what I'm saying child of God so when you fall look for the resolution when you fall Look for where God is sending you. When you fall, look for the helping hand. Sometimes you got to ask for help. Where, am, where is it, God? Where are you sending me, God? Where are you going, God? And the multitude of blessings become released because you was in the divine essence of his alignments, of the catapultic, the catapultic experience, whatever it is, that broke through in that place. Divine intervention, divine rescue is in the center of the midst of it. Find it, find it so that you find God, so that you know what you came to do is for God and not for you, and you ain't serving your pride. I love you, child of God. Be blessed and know that God is fighting for this nation. Understand we have entered a new season, a new breakthrough. Understand where we're going is higher in the, in the call and the command of God. Are you going to be in it or are you going to walk against it? What you going to do? Choose the side of the fence that you choose to serve for God. Bye. Salute the king. Be blessed, be well. Bye. <laughs>